We are continuing our series this week about cutting edge research happening at the Medical University of South Carolina. And today's story focuses on research that doesn't look to cure a disease, but instead prevent it. News 2's Colby Thielen joining us now live in studio with more on this fight against a growing problem worldwide. Colby. That's right. And earlier this week, we told you about research taking place that looks to strengthen the body's immune system to take care of diseases like cancer. But what happens when bacteria becomes immune to antibiotics? Well, we caught up with researchers at MUSC hoping to root out those microbes before they spread. It may come as no surprise, but hospitals can be breeding grounds for bacteria. If you get an infection in the hospital, when you're most vulnerable, you're likely to have a bad outcome. Dr. Michael Schmidt says it's the bacteria that learns how to survive. It's the most dangerous. It's resistant to most of the antibiotics our healthcare team has in the closet that they're going to try to treat an infection. These resistant microbes, also known as superbugs, are a growing problem. According to the CDC, about 23,000 people will die every year. About half of the individuals who will acquire an infection by this scary microbe will die. One of these microbes, called Cree, is taking hold in hospitals nationwide. In 2015, a contaminated endoscopy scope spread the bacteria in Los Angeles. Four of those people who got the contaminated scope died. It hasn't been a problem at MUSC. They hope their research will keep it that way. Their goal, learning when and where to look for it. At what point do we screen everyone who comes into MUSC for this microbe? But there is progress. Through research, Dr. Schmidt and his colleagues found a better screening process, catching the microbe at the source. We now know how to better control preventing this microbe from getting a foothold in the castle, namely MUSC. Now, right now, stopping that bacteria is about a four-day process. The hospital hopes to cut that to one day. Each screening is paid for by the hospital, so they say only screening those who have the bacteria will cut down on time and costs. In studio, Colby Thielen, News 2.